In our health edge tonight, the benefits to thumb sucking mm. and nail biting in kids. They are some. Oh my goodness. Gosh, they're often associated with health problems, but Dr. Nandy's here to tell us about the surprising upside. Exactly. I was, I was double the trouble. I did both. I, I sucked oh. my thumb and bit my nails, so my mom's watching. She's happy now. So a new study out of New Zealand you know, found that children who suck their thumbs or bite their nails past preschool age may be less prone to allergic reactions when they're older, uh, when they're older actually. Researchers followed over 1,000 children for more than three decades. They were tested for allergies at age 13, and again at age 32. Those who bit their nails, guess what, or sucked their thumbs as a child had a 38% sensitivity to allergens compared to 49% mm. who, th who didn't. So, so Curtis, you're saved. Yeah. <laughs> well, besides orthodontists and a manicure is doing a happy dance here. Right. <laughs> why, why should parents encourage their kids to suck their thumbs or bite their fingernails? Oh, boy. So, you know, I think that, you know, this is, we're not saying it's a panacea. I would not encourage okay. a child to suck their thumb or bite their fingernails as, as their hard habits to break as they grow older. You know, thumb sucking can cause problems with the proper growth of a child's mouth and potentially push teeth out of alignment, causing them to protrude and, as you talk about, create an overbite. So, absolutely, you know, I think that we should watch out for that. Now, what about allergies and things like that being exposed to germs? And that's I the mean, key here. Yeah. So yeah. We're, I think what this suggests, is, uh, this study is suggesting, is that that they're supporting the idea that kids do better when they're exposed to a variety of microbes or germs. Now, microbes are tiny organisms that live everywhere. Some cause disease, and others are essential for a healthy life. So I think this study allows us to be a bit more relaxed about children's being exposed to germs. And so that, that's the key. No reason to keep wiping everything down for them or anything. That's exactly like that. right. And using these antibacterial soaps. So I think that allergies can be pre actually be prevented and 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 their sixth leading cause of chronic illness in the US anyone can develop an allergy and they're generally not preventable so here are some steps that I think you can take to help lower the risk of a young child developing allergies starting at pregnancy so number one you know what avoid exposure to tobacco smoke people before and after your child's birth this inc this increases your chan child's chance of developing asthma and wheezing Number two, now breastfeed your child for four to six months or give them a hypoallergenic formula. These may strengthen the child's immune system, making it less likely for them to get allergies. Three, introduce solid foods gradually between four to six months. Egg, dairy, peanut, tree nuts, and shellfish may be gradually added after less allergenic foods have been tolerated. And lastly, reduce exposure to dust mites. This may delay or prevent allergies or asthma symptoms. So. All right, Doc. Thank you so much. Yeah, we, we do have a you question know? from Facebook Live. Okay. Yeah, and, then, okay. and I think they, think they were talking about breast cancer. We talked about breast cancer and bacteria a few days ago, and what, they, what this viewer is saying is that, listen, you know, is there something as good bacteria or breast cancer? And, 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 the, and the answer is there may be. So I, I love probiotics, and I think if you can have yogurt, you know, sauerkraut, that could also help. But I think the research still, the, the, a lot more to be done, but just make sure you avoid antibiotics unnecessarily and, yeah. and have your probiotics. All right. Thank you, Doc. You got a question for the good doctor? Go ahead, contact him, Facebook Live. He's got it going now. It sure That's does. Right. Or at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.